name is Peter Bales and uh, this is my OH-6. I flew these in Vietnam. I joined the Army to fly airplanes and my class, uh, I got booted out of the class with a couple others to the helicopter class and I've loved them ever since. I mean, I grew up in an aviation family. My dad was a pilot. I've got brothers that are pilots, but uh, by far I enjoy flying the helicopter much more than the airplanes. And it's mainly the mission, the mission that you do is so different than just getting from A to B or usually doing something in between. And uh, I was thinking about how blessed I was to still be flying this helicopter on the way down here, you know, and uh, it's not, you know, I'm fortunate. I was able to put it together, I'm able to maintain it, and uh, it's got a few more years left in me and it's got a few more years left in that before it goes on to the next party. This is an OH-6A, Cayuse is the name the Army gave it, commonly known as a loach. The primary mission was scouting. I had a minigun on the side and a door gunner inside. And, uh, it wasn't the way I flew it. I flew it uh, with a major uh, over flying over tracks, armored cab, the 11th armored cab. And we did uh, basically operations, command and control of the tracks on the ground. I've been flying it since 97. It's in standard category. That's the way they were built. And uh, primarily take it to air shows and uh, veterans events and displays. And on occasion, I get to fly with the Kiwi 369 Museum folks and do reenactments. Hello, my name is Patty Meek and I am with the Army Aviation Heritage Foundation and Flying Museum. And we're a 501c3 not-for-profit organization that is dedicated to helping veterans, uh, educating young people about aviation and uh, to continue serving uh, the public and giving them a part of history. The AH-1 Cobra was the first helicopter built specifically as an aerial weapons platform. Uh, it started out um, from the Charlie model gunship Hueys. Uh, they felt that they needed to have a lower signature when they were doing their uh, runs during Vietnam. And so Bell came up with an aircraft that's 36 inches wide and was able to carry ordnance. If you look at it from the front, they, it may be broad, but once the pilot found out where the enemy was and it turned, then they could no longer see it. So it kind of helped to protect the pilots. So, and it served during Vietnam all the way through Desert Storm. When we're dealing with veterans, uh, they, they give us the stories of what these aircraft did to bring them back safely, to protect them. Most Vietnam veterans don't open up about what happened, but when they see the aircraft, they start to talk a little bit, and we hope that it brings them a little closure, so it'll also help them uh, to, to be able to, to get past their, their Vietnam experience.